Getting ready to upgrade the headlights in the 2005 Pontiac Vibe to LED. Uh, I got the three parts of the kit I obtained. Um, we're going to start with the passenger side because it's easier to get to. Over here by the windshield washer reservoir, uh, simply unplug the uh, pigtail off the back of the light. Uh, then there's a rubber boot. Pop that out. Then there's a retaining clip that actually holds the uh, headlight in. I've already snapped that away. And then the uh, headlight bulb simply uh, pulls its way out. And so you can see here a comparison of the regular bulb and its LED counterpart. And then you have to use this little adapter ring here to uh, mimic the uh, base of the bulb. After about a minute I realized the clips were not going to easily accommodate the LED lights. So instead we're actually going to have to take the uh, headlight housings out in order to be able to insert the LED fixtures. Uh, to begin with, we're going to disconnect the negative battery terminal, de-energize everything, uh, airbag sensors and stuff are up here in the front, so just a safety thing. Uh, then there's two 10 millimeter bolts on the housing. We'll take those out. Um, then there's a Phillips screw here holding that part of the cowling on, Phillips push pin, another push pin, and one on the other side. Um, then on each side, behind the housing, you have to lift the uh, inner fender well and there's a Phillips screw right there. We'll have to take that out as well as uh, some Phillips screws along the bottom in order to be able to lift the cowling away from the vehicle. Living in the rust belt, the uh, screws on the bottom were rather difficult and rusted in place. You just have to take your time and hopefully they'll come apart for you. On the uh, headlight housing at the front corner here, once you get the uh, bumper cover away, is a screw in the side here that must be removed in order to free the housing. Have the headlight assembly out. Uh, following the directions that came with the light, uh, there's one significant issue. Uh, the LED bulb has two tabs on it. Unfortunately, the collar they sent can be locked in top or bottom, but it can only go one way for the high and low beams to work correctly. Part of the reason for having to take the assembly out is trying to get this clip back into the uh, fixture here. And until you try to put the rubber boot on, with the retainer and the light with its pigtail, uh, this becomes a challenge. So it's easier to pull it out, put it on the bench, and then work on it. Take the rubber boot and basically flip it kind of inside out here. Then take a pair of needle nose pliers and then work the metal clip in um, around the rubber boot. It does latch in, you can see how it's uh, oriented. And uh, in this case, when it'll finally be installed, the plug will be at the bottom of the fixture. Before you put this back in a vehicle, you want to make sure of two things. That this top notation is indeed at the top of the housing, and that also everything is seated all the way around, otherwise water will leak. I've left the front bumper cover on to make it a little easier to index, and I've already run the wiring, so here's the adapter that came with our LED headlight kit, and I've already uh, put it in the back here. One thing I did notice on the uh, corner here, the uh, headlight was rubbing against the uh, sheet metal here and it actually wore through the paint. So before you put your headlight in, it might be a good opportunity to do any touch up along the edge here if you find any rub marks. The halogen bulb is to the left and the new LED fixture is on the right. As you can see the halogen has a little bit more throw onto the road surface while the LED is uh, projecting on the building in front of me. Uh, in the high beams, the halogen uh, basically disappears from the road surface where the uh, LED has a little bit more throw on the road and they both mix together on the building pretty much equally and uh, they kind of cover each other up. With the low beams on I'm about 50 yards away. Uh, the LED is now on the left and you can see that the field is uh, more mostly white with the high beams on and you can see that it's indistinguishable between the LED and halogen as far as the amount of brightness. At this point I've replaced both lights with LEDs, currently sitting with the low beams, high, low. On the low beams the LEDs are uh, more filling and uh, seem to have a little bit more throw. On the high beams uh, they don't throw quite as far as the halogen high beams. Um, and overall the contrast between the high and low beams on the LEDs isn't as much as the halogens. There was definitely more difference in the characteristics of how the light was thrown between the high and low on the halogens. Just kind of a quick idea what this looks like going down a two-lane road. And there's the high beams. And we're going to go over a little hill here so you can see how the light fills in. 
back to low beams.